Uh, yeah, I'm looking. We we were we had a great win over an extremely well coached, maybe the best best team in in in, in the league. So we're, we're fortunate. Um, I'm I'm as proud as our uh, uh, anyone I've had in my ten years here. I'm as proud of this group today that they just they just found a way to get through it. But it's, it speaks a lot to the guys. We got back to defending and rebounding, which has normally been our identity, and, and hopefully we can get that back. Yeah, because coach defense. Allowed 35.7% field goal shooting a day. It's one of your best defensive performances against one of the top offensive teams in the league. Just kind of what were you seeing the Huskies that was came from yesterday? Well, sometimes, I mean, you know, listen, Walker is my vote for player of the year right now. And, I mean, yesterday I thought he made a lot of shots. But um, today we did a better job. Pat O'Connell had a – we had a late staff Zoom last night, and we talked about trapping some ball screens. And that was a great suggestion by him. Um you know, yesterday we tried zone pressing. I mean, you know, he's 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 a really, he's a really good good player. I just thought our stance, our high hands, our energy, our, our competitive spirit was the way our teams normally are. Um, and and hopefully we can get back to doing that. Welcome after the media. Pat, with with Gibson going down, you obviously needed more from Nick. And Nick, I guess he he stepped up to the task, didn't he? Uh, he was tremendous. I mean, we defended, we rebounded, and then we rode Nick. I mean, you know, his points per shot were outstanding. And, and you know, Nick, Nick, is, Nick is one of my favorite guys I've, I've ever had the opportunity to coach here or anywhere else. He's, he's competitive. He's talented. Um, I think he'll continue to perform well for us. He's worked hard, harder than ever all week. He's, he's, um, he's fighting a, an injury that's going to require surgery right after the season, Matt. Not so he, but he's fighting through that. Um, and, and he's a guy I, I I believe in, and you know I think uh, you know I, I think he's a guy you can you can win with, and and, and he showed that today. Um, Coach, why were uh, Zane and Cam out of the lineup today? So first of all, we're thinking of Cam um, right after the game yesterday. He had a family emergency. We had we had to get him back. Uh, he had to go back home, and and hope hopefully get him back in a couple of days. So um, you know uh, you know right now that that was my that was my decision. Um, with Zane right now, it's one of the things I've talked about. Our group is is we need the we need the right ingredients in the sauce. We've been struggling, and you know, I, I, I play younger guys. You know, got to play some play some younger guys, and um, I like how united and committed our group was defensively and on the backboards today. Oh, will Zane be back uh, anytime soon, or is this going to be an extended absence? Yeah, that's a great question. I'm I'm, I'm not really ready to. Way to answer that. I just, I just feel like it's, it's. This is, you know, we've only been playing like conference games for just, just about a month now. It seems like about six months the way this year has been, and we've had some tough, frustrating losses, which, which means I haven't, I didn't do a good job in some of those games. Uh, one thing we talked about after last weekend with, with guys were having great energy, great body language, and really buying into what we need to do to really get where we want to get. This is a funky year, right? Sometimes if you don't play good, you know, right? This year, you only got to play good for a couple of weeks and, and you got a shot to get the thing. So I feel like my responsibility to the program is to make sure we have guys that are absolutely committed to what we're trying to, to do to win games. And I felt like the group today was absolutely committed to doing that. You guys obviously, you know, without Zane, without Cam, Jason goes down after six minutes, I mean, Talk about the resilience of your team to be able to get a win like this, you know, after being able to snap an eight-game losing streak um, today. Yeah, I, you know, Ja'Kai Dotton sticks out to me, you know, and 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 I'll be he's a he's a guy I love Ja'Kai. I've always loved Ja'Kai. Uh, he's a guy we had a long talk with last week, and he really responded with his best week of practice maybe that he's ever had here, and his energy was contagious, and he did a great job for us defensively, taking care of the ball, making timely shots, and. Guarding the best guy in the league, and you know we got some young guys. I'm really happy with with Demetrius Mims and Charles and Solo and and Vic, and we were able to play. Like I said, this was an all underclassmen team today, and and this year that's that's important. I think right now to to evaluate that for us as we try to get keep getting better. I mean, for a guy like Jakai specifically, you know, guy who hasn't played a lot all year, and yesterday and today he has two two his best games of the season. I mean, talk about you know for him confidence wise, and you know just. You know, for, for him personally, uh, what do you think that this can kind of do for him, you know, going forward? Well, I think it'll do more. And, and you know, look, it's some, like I said, when you lose some games, guys get frustrated, right? Um, we all get frustrated. and But you got to make sure you can handle and manage frustration. And 
that's what I like how he responded this past week. Um, and, and he really helped his helped his teammates. And, you know, I, I said he's 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 a he's a high class guy. And it was he, he was he was terrific for us today. I, I do want to congratulate. Obviously, Northeastern's a great program. And I saw that Coach Cohn tied the all time winning record there. And, and um, you know, he's as good a coach as there is in our conference. So con congratulations to him. That's a heck of a heck of an achievement. It's great execution, especially down the stretch. Uh, we went in with a game plan, and we executed to perfection. So I mean, almost perfection. Did the best we can, and we ended up getting a win. Uh, I mean, you were you were kind of going with Tyson Walker all game, and you was one of your best performances through the day. And, and Coach Gary talked about how like you really stepped over the last two games. Just kind of like, what did you see in practice, or just you know, kind of on film that made you ready for this, these two games? Uh, it kind of started at practice on Tuesday. We came with a mentality, you know, practice hard, practice how you play. So that's where we really what it was. And then just going to the game, like I said, execute, execute, execute. And that's really, that's it. Right. Uh, any uh, questions from the media here? My man. Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, big dog? Um, obviously, you know, tonight, you know, you guys are without Zane, without Cam, and then Jason gets hurt the first six minutes of that game. Obviously, you know, you and Nick pretty much, you know, um, obviously throw some to the, you guys. Uh, Primary kind of ball most of the game and whatnot. I mean, talk about how you guys were able to kind of step up, you know, uh, without uh, all those other guys. Coach always preaches, and I'll give him a lot of credit for this. Is next man up. You know, somebody goes down, and, you know, the next man got to step up, and you just got to keep going. You got to keep flowing. So that's really what it was. You no know, Zane, no Cam. I mean, Jason goes down unfortunately in the first couple minutes. So he's just, you know what I'm saying, got next man up. Uh, you personally, uh, obviously, yesterday, Coach Kerry said you've been practicing well lately. Um, did, um, obviously, uh, today and yesterday, you were able to kind of put together, you know, your best two, two, games, two games of the season. I'm um, talking about, you know, you personally, how you've been able to kind of just stay, stay ready um, for your opportunity and then be able to play well these, these past two days. Staying focused, really what it is, you know, maintaining my habits, keep doing the same things that I'm doing, you know, get in early before practice, stay late after practice, making sure I get my shots, going hard on all my reps. And really, that's really what it is. I've definitely taken game preparation way more serious, you know, just doing everything and sleeping habits, eating habits, and that's really all that comes into it. Um, obviously, yesterday, Walker had 36, you know, and today, you guys kind of, you know, really held him in check. I noticed you guys were really aggressive on his ball screens. Um, and obviously, you know, uh, you personally were, were the guy that was kind of uh, defending him for most of the game. Um, what, what were the adjustments from yesterday to today um, as far as, you know, kind of just trying to slow him down? Uh, really just more of our hedges, uh, really, really aggressive on the hedges, making sure you get them out uh, back at half court. It's really hard to make passes and stuff like that, you know, from all the way back there, you know, hard skips and things. So that's really what it was and just ball pressure and really just a, my mindset, my man won't score. That's really what it is. I mean, for you guys, you guys snap, well, I think it was eight game losing streak. You know, yeah, no, obviously, yeah. You know, um, how did it feel to kind of get off that slide against Northeastern, who was, you know, the best team in the conference coming into the day? It's a great win. You know, coach, he's been saying there's no better time or opportunity around this time of year than to start getting going. So, I mean, those eight games are in the past. We're moving forward now. It feels good finally getting the win. Uh, we've had a, an eight-game, seven-game slide. And, you know, it just brings everybody's energy up. It brings everybody's morale up. I wish we got a win yesterday. Yesterday was my birthday. It's kind of, you know, <laughs> sour mood for the day. But, you know, now we can end off the weekend one-on-one -on -one and look forward to next game. Charles, double-double for you. Well, yesterday I, w I didn't feel like I was as aggressive and not necessarily with my shot taking with, you know, my rebounding and boxing out. I wasn't as physical as I needed to be. So last night I, I watched some tape, made that an emphasis on my game to be more physical today. And this is where the uh, outcome was. Open up questions for the media. Um, obviously, today you guys were out with Zane, were without Cam. Jason goes down over in the game. I mean, you guys were still able to kind of, you know, come out with a win. I mean, talk about the resilience of your team to be able to get a win despite everything you guys were going against. Uh, that was very resilient. You know, it's a it's a weird year. Everybody's going down, COVID issues, injury issues. Uh, it's it's hard to get a it's hard to get a win, and everybody just overlooks the fact that you know not everybody's going to get the same type of wins or the same type of play every day, but. You know, our motto is next guy up. So if one guy goes down, next guy's up, and he brings in the exact same energy. Um, Ja'Kai and Nick are two guys that stepped up, you know, huge today um, in, in the backcourt and, you know, Jason's absence and Zane's absence. I mean, talk about those guys. Specifically, you know, I mean, uh, first of all, for Ja'Kai, you know, a guy who hasn't played a lot, you know, uh, this year, to, to have a big weekend, you know, these back-to-back -back games, 
um, for you guys? I think this was really big for his confidence. He was guarding one of the best guards in our league, if not the, the best guard in our league, and he held him to under his average today. So, And he held him to really bad shooting and a lot of turnovers. So I think it was really good for his confidence. Nick really stepped up and was a leading for us, not just scoring-wise, just energy and vocal on and off the bench, and it was just amazing. Especially when Jason went down, we all rad we, we rallied. When we got punched in the face, we didn't just uh, take it. We fought back and we responded very well. Um, I noticed on your ball screen coverage, you guys were extremely aggressive. You guys were hedging almost out to half court um, on Walker. I mean, um, what was the point of emphasis today um, that you guys didn't have yesterday uh, as far as, you know, guard on Walker? If a dude ever puts dirty on you, you never let that happen again. So our emphasis was let somebody else beat us. Let somebody who's not as talented as he is beat us. I uh, thought it was a very, very good team win. Uh, we definitely needed it being 3-13 and 13 coming into it. And coach has been saying all week it only takes one. So hopefully after this, we're uh, off to a hot start. Nick, you played literally every second today, got 22 points. So just kind of what were you doing defensively and offensively just to, you know, when you're playing literally every single second of this game? Uh, I mean, I was just trying to get to my areas and spots on the floor offensively. I think I did a pretty good job of that. Shot a couple questionable shots. But uh, defensively, just being in the gaps, just housing defense. Questions from media? Um, Nick, I mean, for you, um, you guys obviously were, were without Zane, were, were without Cam. Jason gets hurt early. I mean, what was your mentality personally, you know, without uh, all those guys in the lineup? Uh, well, Gibby started off hot. I thought he was about to go crazy today. And then he just landed on his back. So hopefully it's nothing serious. But, uh, with those three out, I mean, I just thought it should be my time to take over, and uh, that's what I did offensively. So, Nick, was it more about rallying around the team since those guys were out? Uh, yeah, I think so. And I mean, Northeastern being the number one team in our league, it's always good to uh, try to upset them, especially with us not being where we want to be in the season right now. So, this this is a huge win for us. After you guys. Were on a you know eight game losing streak, you know how did it feel to kind of finally get off that slide uh, today? Oh, it felt great. We go to the locker room, and everyone's happy, jumping around. It's awesome getting that eight game losing streak. Everyone's been moping around, and the practice hasn't been up to par. But I mean, we had a great week of practice this week, so it showed today. Um, I mean, obviously, you know, for a guy like Jakai, who you know hasn't played a lot all year, but you know due to the injuries uh, and then obviously I thought the scary said he had a good week of practice I mean for him to be able to play well yesterday and today um you know talk about kind of the way he the way he's been able to play offensively and also guard and Walker um these past two days yeah that's my guy uh he did great on Walker today he was very frustrated uh Kaka was just on him the whole entire game he's a pest he's annoying to go against in practice so I can't imagine going against him in a game but it was definitely great to see him playing a lot of minutes today he needed it I mean, what was your guys' mentality following yesterday when Walker obviously had 36 today? You guys really, you know, were, were I know he was hedging his ball screen into half court, um, showing bodies. I mean, um, what, was the, what was the adjustment you guys made on him um, from yesterday to, to, to today? Just that he can't beat us today. I, I feel like he just, he single-handedly beat us yesterday. Clearly, he had 40 or whatever he had. And uh, we weren't going to let that, him do that two days in a row.